I would have laughed no matter what with the fact that I was trying to hold the camera really still. I feel like I couldn't laugh too hard and it just made it worse. Today we are traveling 30 hours from Jerusalem to Bagan, Myanmar with a little unexpected luxury along the way. Popular bus? Gonna be crowded. Our 30 hour travel day is off to a strong start. We got on the wrong bus. It'll get us there. It's just gonna take twice as long. That bus was the first of many modes of transportation today. going to Myanmar this morning is a little bit of a miracle considering that I remember last night at 10 p.m. that we needed a visa and it's supposed to take three days. Eight hours later we have them. We had to pay a bunch of money for the rest service but the important thing is we're going to Myanmar. We've officially been stamped out of this country and I can't believe we're already leaving. We didn't come here with enough time to begin with and then we got off to a little bit of a rough start so we didn't get to see everything we wanted to but it just means we have to come back. Next time, the Dead Sea, the desert, the West Bank. And all the food. And back to Jerusalem and back to Tel Aviv. Oh. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, uh, I just, so good. I'm already sad thinking about the fact that I'm never gonna have hummus that good again until we come back here. hotel that we're staying at tomorrow night when we get to Myanmar. Do you ever have those times in life where you have so much going on that you feel like you can't do anything 100%? That's where we are right now. I'm usually like a little scatterbrained in the last minute, but we're cutting some things really close here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, first flight of the day, two hours to is <coughs> When the aircraft reaches its final parking position, thank you for flying with Turkish Airlines and Monroe Star Lines. Made it to Turkey. And now we have five hours here in Istanbul before we board our next flight. Unfortunately, we're not going to the big, beautiful Turkish Airlines business class lounge because I am 11 miles short of Star Alliance gold status. Ah! 11. To put that in perspective, who for people who don't know much about frequent flyer miles, it takes 40,000 miles to get Star Alliance gold status. 11. I love that. There is a priority pass lounge. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Sometimes friends are better than frequent fly miles. Last time we were here, we only had about 10 minutes. This time we have five hours, so we're gonna to try to do a better job of showing you around. The lounge is huge and super nice, but by far the best part is the food. In the back of the lounge, there are several chefs hand making dough, preparing one of our favorite dishes in this country, Turkish pide. There's also a soup station, an entire island of little mezzi, kebabs, some meat from a street cart, countryside butter, a hibachi grill, traditional Turkish moussaka, drinks, drinks, and more drinks. Monty, or Turkish ravioli, hand cut by this lady. I love that this entire lounge is basically one giant open kitchen. Thank you. Tons of coffee stations with Turkish coffee and tons of delicious desserts. 
As far as non-food related things go, there are napping pods. I'm having way too much fun to sleep right now. Popcorn station. A place to keep your kids entertained. Remote control cars. Video games. And tons of TVs. There's even an art gallery. They still have it. I thought they had gotten rid of it. Last time we were here, I thought they had gotten rid of the driving range. This was my favorite thing about the old lounge. Probably the only place in the world where you can hit golf balls in the airport for free. In summary, not a bad place to spend a few hours. This is one of those lounge visits that's gonna go by way too fast. Our time in the lounge went by way too fast. This day just keeps getting better and better. Now we have a nine hour flight to Bangkok. This is probably the most excited I've ever been for a nine hour flight. Here we are. We have been getting so spoiled lately. So not only were our original seats in economy in separate rows, now we're in literally the very front of the plane in business class. Look at these slippers. And we just got a mini, like a hefty mini. This, this is crazy. I'm so happy right now. I already get way too excited about buying a business class, but like my expectations were so low. I was planning on like trying to sleep for nine hours next to a random stranger in the middle section. And now I have all this space. They just handed us our amenity kits. It's for Saatchi, mine's white, but they got a blue one. This is the first time we've ever gotten two different amenity kits. And this is 100% the most beautiful packaging I've ever had on a mini kit. Give me this bag no matter what's in it. There we go. Oh my gosh, it smells like lemons. A hair tie. This is the most useful piece that I've ever received in an amenity kit. I don't even know what else is in here. I know that sounds dramatic, but. Earplugs. Refreshing scented mist. I can't wait to smell this. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, I have new Versace perfume. I feel like the whole plane's gonna smell like this soon. Oh, lotion with the same scent. Oh my gosh, another perfume. Should I spray this one too? No. Okay, okay, okay. I won't. I'll save it. <laughs> the chef just asked us what we wanted for dinner. We've been having so much fun, we haven't even read the menu yet. Sorry for the break. Buzzy socks. I'm gonna put them on with my slippers. I want some little stickers that say, please wake me up for a meal and please do not disturb. You stick these on your chair and then they know not to wake you for breakfast if you wanna sleep. I can't believe how great this is. This is the best mini kit we've ever got. OMG, I got this blue Versace bag. I wonder what's in it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, these socks are actually really nice. Toothbrush, very useful. Nice, like, foamy eye mask. OMG, is this perfume? Oh, how do I open it? I must spray this on myself and make the whole plane smell. Oh, a second? Gloss, also very useful. Can you see my tears? That was so it's a very nice amenity kit. I just don't usually use lotion and perfume. Whereas I've saved like every lotion I've ever gotten in an amenity kit in my toy stream. <laughs> Ich 
kamerası bağlı durdurunuz ve baş dolaptan açmayınız. Tüm elektronik cihazlarınızı kullanabilirsiniz. Uçak park pozisyonu ulaştığında baş dolaptan açarken lütfen dikkat edin. Bu sistemden ayrıca Türk Hava Yolları'nda dayan hava yollarıyla bunu da konuşmuyoruz. Sizi teşekkür ediyoruz. Had fried rice and coffee for breakfast <laughs> with a lot of chilies. Spicy fried rice and coffee. We're very confused. It's <laughs> breakfast time and our bodies, but it's lunch time here. It's time to board our last flight of the trip. Two hours to Myanmar. Okay. Thank you. We're the first ones on the plane. This is so good. We're the last ones at the gate. Just gonna put on my slippers and get my amenity kit out because I don't like we're still in business class. <laughs> Close my eyes, it feels like we're back on our Turkish flight. <laughs> Boarding is complete! We have the middle seat again. Both of our economy flights today. We got a whole row to ourselves. And then the one in between was business class. Could this travel day be any better? Emergency exit nearest to you. After over 24 hours of travel on buses, trains, multiple planes, we have made it to Mandalay, but this is not the end of the journey. Welcome to Mandalay. So our final destination is Bagan, and it's just a short flight from Mandalay. However, there was no way to get there on the same ticket from Israel, so we would have had to book a separate domestic flight, pick up our bags, recheck our bags, go back through security, wait for the plane, get on the plane, arrive, get our bags again, find our taxi, and then get to our hotel. So booking a car for the three and a half hour drive sounded much simpler. And for four hours in a private car, it's crazy cheap. So we're currently en route to Bagan. This is crazy. We were just driving down the road, and now there's some big parade going on that we think has something to do with like the monks going to the monastery, like the young monks. Everyone's all dressed up, and there are cows and an elephant. I didn't. I didn't even know there were elephants in Myanmar. <laughs> There's so many people. It's beautiful. We're just driving through some little town and just stumbled upon this. Starbucks like, yeah, let's watch the parade. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are just as amused by us as we are by them. I forgot how sweet the people are here. It's just making me so happy. Thank you, Leva. We're all waving and we're taking pictures of them. They're taking pictures of us. This is so great. <laughs> Guys, really into the parade. Thank you for stopping for us. Yeah, Join so the good. parade. Well, we made it. We have a bathroom, a Kara, a desk, and most importantly, a bed. Ah! It's all been uphill or it's downhill been or. The last time I said that, people, I said it's all downhill from here, and people said that was bad. Well, so uphill, it's all uphill from here, like you're looking up, but downhill could be easier. Like if you're on a bike, it's all downhill from here. That's positive. So it just depends on your perspective. <laughs> Part of it that way. 
Goodbye. <laughs> Very funny.